everyone, Stella here, and today we are going to be doing a tutorial video on how to add the data packs from Vanilla Tweaks onto our very own games. So let's get right into this tutorial today. First, you are going to have to load up the Vanilla Tweaks website. There is a link in the description down below, so go hit that if you want to go to the website for simple access. Now, this will bring you to this page where we do want to hit the data packs section because we are today starting with the data packs section of this website. Secondly, you do want to be going adding the packs that you want. We have survival items, mob, teleportation, utilities, hermitcraft, and experimental to choose from. Now to choose from which version you are currently playing, so say for example I am currently in 1.18 gameplay, you'll be clicking this button up here, or maybe if you're in 1.17 still, you'll just be clicking the 1.17. Okay, so we're back on the 1.18 website. So this is my current updated version. Now I'm going to go ahead and quickly click the packs that I want into my game, and I'll be right back. Something to note, if you do want to know what each one of these packs does, just simply hover over the pack and it'll tell you. So, for example, track statistics says add statistics that are processed beforehand, e.g. KM swamp, KM flow, etc. So there you go. All we're going to have to do is then come to this section and we want to download. You know, we've, we're perfectly fine with the packs that we've chosen. We hit the download button and it'll take us to the next website. Now you do not need to click on anything that is in this box. We just need to wait for the five seconds to be up and press this big red skip button. You don't need to create a Forge server, none of that. Just hit the skip button. That'll bring us back to the Vanilla Tweaks website and you'll see down in the le bottom left corner that we have now got a zip file here. Now what you are going to have to do is open this zip file. Now to do this, you are going to need a zip firmware. Mine I personally use is Zipware. Now to be able to get this packs into Minecraft is going to just take us a second to get there. Okay, so we have now got our Zipware folders over here and we've also got our base game of the Minecraft open. Now all you want to do is hit options. We go to the resource packs, we go to open pack folder, and that is going to bring up a folder that looks similar like this. Now, this is the back end of your Minecraft folders. This is what dictates how your game is played. What we are going to want to do is hit the dot Minecraft folder here. And at the moment, we do not have a mods folder, as you can see. All we need to do is right click on our mouse, hit go down to new and add a new folder. Now you need it to name it mods. So M O T S doesn't need to be capitalized and that's perfect. Now the next step is double clicking on that mods folder and opening it up. Now all we have to do is simply drag and drop these. Now I'm just gonna do these all in one hit. You can do them individually if you'd like, but it is simple as that. Now you can see that in the mods folder, we have got all of our packs here ready to go. Now all we have to do is close down our current version of Minecraft, relaunch the game, and then we are ready to go. It's simple as that, guys. Only takes a few minutes to get you guys started. Now that's it, guys. That is as simple as that to get your version of Minecraft with more mob heads, fast leave decay, whatever you want to do to completely customize your game. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and comment down below. And if you've really liked it, make sure to hit the subscribe button because I am going to be doing how to re-download the resource packs in the next video. Bye for now.